Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've... never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. Teacook, have any other Outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps... It slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. 